with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One. Leviticus 1 The Lord told Moses from the middle of the tent of meeting, Speak to the Israelis and tell them that when any person brings an offering to the Lord from among you, whether he brings an offering of animals from either cattle or flock, if his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he is to bring a male without any defect. He is to present it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. At the appointed time, it is to be presented in the presence of the Lord so that he may be accepted. He is to lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it will be accepted for him as an atonement on his behalf. Then he is to slaughter the young bull in the Lord's presence. Aaron's sons, the priests, are to bring the blood and sprinkle it around the altar that stands at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He is to skin the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. Aaron's sons, the priests, are to build a fire on the altar and arrange the wood over the fire. They are to arrange the pieces of meat, including the head and the fat, on the wood over the fire that burns on the altar. Then he is to wash its entrails and legs with water. After this, the priest is to offer all of it on the altar, a burnt offering by fire, an aroma that will be pleasing to the Lord. If his offering is a burnt offering from the flock, whether lamb or goat, he is to bring a male without any defect and slaughter it at the north side of the altar in the Lord's presence. Then Aaron's sons, the priests, are to sprinkle its blood around the altar. He is to cut up its head and fat into separate pieces arrange them in rows on the wood over the fire that burns on the altar, wash its entrails and legs with water, and then offer all of it on the altar, a burnt offering by fire, an aroma that will be pleasing to the Lord. If his offering is a burnt offering of birds to the Lord, he is to bring turtle doves or young doves. The priest is to bring it to the altar to offer it up in smoke. He is to decapitate it and drain its blood on the side of the altar, and then he is to eviscerate it and throw the viscera and the feathers to the east side of the altar, where the fatty ashes are located. He is then to tear it open by its wings, but not divide it completely into two parts. The priest is then to offer all of it on the wood over the fire as a burnt offering by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Leviticus 2 When a person brings an offering, that is, a grain offering, to the Lord, his offering is to consist of fine flour. He is to pour olive oil mixed with frankincense over it. Then he is to bring it to Aaron's sons, the priests. He is to take a handful of fine flour, the olive oil, and all of the frankincense. Then the priest is to offer a memorial offering by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. The remnants from the grain offering is for Aaron and his sons, the holiest of the offerings made by fire to the Lord. When you bring an offering, that is, a grain offering baked in an oven, it is to consist of fine flour baked into unleavened bread mixed with olive oil or of wafers made of unleavened bread and smeared with olive oil. If your grain offering has been prepared on a griddle, then it is to consist of fine flour mixed with olive oil. Crumble it into morsels of bread and then pour olive oil on it. It's a grain offering. When your grain offering has been prepared in a stew pan, it is to consist of fine flour mixed with olive oil. Bring the grain offering that you prepared from these ingredients to the Lord. Present it to the priest, who will bring it to the altar. Then the priest will dedicate some of the grain offering as a memorial offering and offer it in smoke on the altar, an offering by fire that will be a pleasing aroma to the Lord. The remainder from the memorial offering is for Aaron and his sons, the holiest of the offerings made by fire to the Lord. Any grain offering that you bring to the Lord is not to be prepared with yeast, because anything with leaven and honey may not be offered in smoke as an offering by fire to the Lord. 
you may bring them to the Lord as an offering of first fruits, but they are not to be offered on the altar for a pleasing aroma. Also, be sure to rub every offering from your grain offering with salt. You are not ever to remove the salt of the covenant of your God from your grain offering. Present all your offerings with salt. Whenever you bring a grain offering of first fruits to the Lord, bring fresh barley roasted in fire, young kernels crushed into bits. Bring the grain offering with your first fruits and then pour olive oil and frankincense over it as a grain offering. The priest is to offer the memorial offering in smoke, its crushed bits, olive oil, and frankincense, as an offering by fire to the Lord. Leviticus 3 If someone's offering is a peace offering from the cattle, the presenter is to offer it without defect, whether the animal is male or female. They are to be brought to the Lord. Then the presenter is to lay his hand on the head of the offering and slaughter it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. After this, Aaron's sons, the priests, are to sprinkle the blood on and around the altar. The presenter is then to bring a gift from the peace offering, an offering made by fire to the Lord. He is to remove the fat that covers the internal organs, all of the fat that is inside the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat on them by the loins, and the fatty mass that surrounds the liver and kidneys. Then Aaron's sons are to burn them on the altar, over the burnt offering that has been placed on the wood over the fire, as an offering made by fire, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. If his offering to the Lord is a peace offering from the flock, whether male or female, he is to bring it without defect. If the offering that he is bringing is a lamb, then he is to bring it to the Lord. He is to lay his hand on the head of his offering and slaughter it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons are to sprinkle the blood on and around the altar. The presenter is then to bring a gift from the peace offering as an offering made by fire to the Lord. He is to remove the fat, the entire fat tail near the spine, the fat that covers the internal organs, all of the fat that is inside the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat on them by the loins, and the fatty mass that surrounds the liver and kidneys. Then the priest is to burn them on the altar as a food offering made by fire to the Lord. If his offering is a goat, then he is to bring it to the Lord, lay his hand over its head, then slaughter it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. After this, Aaron's sons are to sprinkle the blood on and around the altar. The presenter is then to present the gift as an offering made by fire to the Lord, that is, the fat that covers the internal organs, all the fat that is inside the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat on them by the loins, and the fatty mass that surrounds the liver and kidneys. The priest is to burn it on the altar, a food offering made by fire, a pleasing aroma. All the fat belongs to the Lord. This is to be a lasting statute for all your generations, wherever you live. You are not to eat any fat or blood. Leviticus 4 The Lord told Moses, Speak to the Israelis and tell them that if a person inadvertently sins with respect to any of the Lord's commands that should not be violated, but nevertheless he disobeys one of them, or if the anointed priest sins, thereby bringing guilt on the people, let him bring a young bull without defect as a sin offering to the Lord for his sin that he had committed. He is to bring the bull to the entrance to the tent of meeting, into the Lord's presence, where he is to lay his hand on the head of the bull and slaughter it in the Lord's presence. The anointed priest is to take blood from the bull to the tent of meeting. The priest is to dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times in the Lord's presence in front of the curtain of the sanctuary. The priest is then to put some blood on the horn of the altar that is near the tent of meeting as an incense of pleasing aroma in the Lord's presence. 
he is to pour the rest of the bull's blood for a burnt offering at the base of the altar that is at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then he is to remove all the fat from the bull for a sin offering, that is, the fat that covers the internal organs, all of the fat that is inside the internal organs, the two kidneys with the fat on them by the loins, and the fatty mass surrounding the liver and kidneys, just as it is taken from the bull for a peace offering. Then the priest is to burn it on the altar for burnt offerings. Now as for the bull's hide, its flesh, its head, its legs, its internal organs, and its dung, along with the rest of the bull, he is to bring it outside the camp to a clean place, where fat ashes are to be poured over it and then it is to be thoroughly burned over wood with fire. It is to be burned where the fat ashes are poured out. If the whole congregation of Israel goes astray, and if the sin is hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and if they go astray from one of the Lord's commands that should not be violated, then they will stand guilty. When the sin that they have committed becomes known, the entire congregation is to bring a young bull as a sin offering to the tent of meeting, where the elders of the community are to lay their hands on the head of the bull in the Lord's presence and slaughter it. The anointed priest is to take blood from the bull and bring it to the tent of meeting. Then the priest is to dip his finger in the blood, sprinkle some of the blood seven times in front of the curtain in the Lord's presence, then put blood on the horn of the altar near the tent of meeting in the Lord's presence. He is to pour the rest of the blood as a burnt offering at the base of the altar that is at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then he is to remove all the fat from the bull for a sin offering and burn it on the altar. He is to do to this bull what he did to the bull for the sin offering. He is to do it this way so that the priest will make atonement for them and they will be forgiven. Then he is to bring the rest of the bull outside the camp and burn it just as he had burned the first bull. This is the sin offering for the congregation. When a ruler inadvertently sins, disobeying any one of the commands of the Lord his God that should not be violated, he will be guilty. When the sin that he had committed is disclosed to him, he is to bring his offering, a male goat without defect. He is then to lay his hand on the head of the goat and slaughter it at the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered, in the Lord's presence, as a sin offering. Then the priest is to take blood from the sin offering with his finger, put it on the horn of the altar that is used for burnt offerings, and then pour the rest of the blood at the base of the altar that is used for burnt offerings. He is to burn all the fat on the altar as is done for the fat for the sacrifice of a peace offering. This is how the priest will make atonement for him concerning his sin. It will be forgiven him. If any of the common people of the land inadvertently sins by disobeying one of the Lord's commands that should not be violated, he will be guilty. When the sin that he committed is disclosed to him, he is to bring his offering for his sin that he had committed, a female goat without defect. He is to lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and slaughter it at the place for burnt offering. Then the priest is to take blood with his finger, put it on the horn of the altar that is used for burnt offerings, and then pour the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. He is to remove all the fat, just as the fat was removed from the sacrifice for the peace offering. Then the priest is to burn it on the altar as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. This is how the priest will make atonement for him. It will be forgiven him. If he brings a lamb for his offering, he is to bring a female without defect. He is to lay his hand on the head of the offering and slaughter it for a sin offering at the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered. Then the priest is to take blood with his finger and put it on the horn of the altar for burnt offering. Then he is to pour the rest of the blood at the base of the altar. Then the presenter is to remove all its fat, just as the fat was removed from the sacrifice of the peace offering. The priest is to burn it on the altar over the offerings made by fire to the Lord. This is how the priest will make atonement for him concerning the sin that he had committed. It will be forgiven him.